Good morning. It is 625 on Friday morning and uh, I am heading up to Tomogamy. I'm doing something a little different this weekend. I'm just going to do a super relaxing trip. I'm doing one portage into a lake, Blueberry, which I've never been on before. And then I'm going to do some hikes while I'm there. And then I'm going to head out early Sunday morning so I can uh, spend some time at the Tomogamy Canoe Festival. So I'm a little bit late today. I'm going to get going and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Well, good morning. I am at the access uh, into Blueberry Lake. I'm at Castles Lake boat launch. Um, got a bit of a dock here, so it should make for an interesting situation. I'm just going to uh, put in a not film it. It's a couple feet down um, to get to the actual water. Um, so I'm just going to go jump in the water and um, stand in there and hold the canoe and throw my stuff in and head off. Uh, as forecast, there's a pretty good wind today. There's supposed to be 24 kilometer winds with 36 kilometer gusts. Um, they are forecast to be in my favor, believe it or not. So hopefully that rings true. Um, it is early, so uh, I'm hoping to uh, get over to the portage into Blueberry pretty quick and um, get to my site before the wind is uh, too bad today. So um, off I go. Blueberry Lake, here I come. Alright, well I am paddling on Castles Lake. It's 10 o'clock. I've um, just been paddling for like 10 minutes. It's uh, really actually very calm out here. The wind isn't bad at all. And um, there's not a lot of boat traffic. So that's good. There's quite a few cottages here. I'm assuming when I come back on Sunday morning, um, it'll be a little bit more traffic. I'm just going to put my head down and paddle. Uh, I think I have about five kilometers to get to the portage. It's a 455 meter portage into uh, Blueberry Lake. And there's four sites on Blueberry Lake. So hopefully it's not too busy yet. Um, I do know somebody else I uh, found out this morning that's coming up with four guys uh, to stay on Blueberry Lake tonight as well. Um, so that got me a little bit panicked about uh, getting a site. I'm like, well, what happens if I don't get a site? What do I do? So I guess I have to move on to sunrise and do a couple more portages and a couple more lakes. So it's good that I have all day at least and uh, hopefully I get a nice site on Blueberry and I get a site and uh, it's nice and cool. Well, for having 24 kilometer winds and 36 kilometer gusts, it's certainly very, very calm out here. Just having a beautiful paddle. Uh, I'm almost at the portage, I'm about two thirds of the way, and uh, looking forward to getting on to Blueberry. I have arrived at the portage into Blueberry Lake from um, Castles. I am on my one and only portage of the trip. <laughs> um, I'm kind of winded, which I shouldn't be, but um, it's ridiculously hot out. There's a heat warning. Um, I think it was 29 when I got here uh, with uh, Humidex at 35. So pretty toasty. Um, Bucks. I'm not going to say that too loud because usually I say that and they swarm me. Shoe bear, go away! Um, but so far so good. Uh, <laughs> the trail is really nice um, so far and uh, no complaints. I'm 
I'm heavy breathing because I, uh, the little backpack that I brought last trip to bring my uh, bug shelter, <laughs> um, I have my dinner for tonight in it, uh, which is a pork chop, which is frozen, and there's a block of ice with it, and a salad, and uh, I put a couple of other things in there because I didn't have room in my backpack because I brought my water filter and my chair and my hammock. So um, <laughs> a little tight for space. And so my packs are really heavy, but I knew I just had this one 455 meter portage. So um, I'm gonna flip the camera around, get some of this scenery, because it's really pretty. And uh, hopefully I'm at the other end soon. <laughs> All right, I made it through to the other side. I am just drenched with sweat. It is so hot out here. Uh, I'm wearing that PFD too. It's just so thick. So gotten rid of that. I'm going to go back and get the pack and uh, hopefully I'll be out of here in 20 minutes. It took me 10 minutes to do the portage. It's a really nice portage. Um, there's even a boardwalk at one point. So really, uh, really nice and easy. Loving it. So there are mosquitoes out, but they're not uh, as bad as the portage, portages I did on Canada Day. Um, again, could be a lot of variables that are making that happen. So I'd rather just do the wait and see. <laughs> the pretty part of the portage coming up here. It's like a cliff. And then there's a boardwalk. I'm assuming built by the Friends of Tomogamy. Thanks guys, or thanks to whoever built it, if not. Lost my balance here with the canoe. I stepped on this piece of wood thinking, oh, it's, someone put it there and it's nice and stable. And then when I stepped on it, it moved. Ooh. And I almost fell over. Ugh. Okay, there we go. There's the boardwalk. This little creek. Very pretty. At the other end of the portage, there is a canoe here. Um, I was yelling hello, hello, because I wasn't sure someone was here. All right, I just dunked my uh, headliner into the lake and put it on because my, my head is so hot, I'm so warm. Um, I just want to report that even in this shallow, swampy, closed in area, there aren't a lot of bugs. So I think that the worst of the bug season is finally over. Fingers crossed, not promising, just saying. Anyways, I'm getting blown, so I gotta start paddling. Just after I said that the deer flies started circling. <laughs> but still, not as bad at all, so fingers crossed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Blueberry Lake. I have been singing Fats Domino all week. He found his thrill on Blueberry Hill. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the, the rocks here. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So excited. Well, thanks to my boss who let me off, uh, off work today. <laughs> I scored this absolutely gorgeous site on Blueberry. Complete with a stone bench and a uh, fire pit on the cliff. There's also a path down to the water, so I can go swimming. And uh, there's a couple really nice flat spots. Actually, there's just one <laughs> really nice flat spot for my tent back here. Best thing of all about my campsite is this little blue sign. <laughs> Yay! You know what that means. Oh, I have a thunder box. Super duper awesome. Yes, that makes me very happy. Well, I've used a lot of privies in my day, but I've never had one that had a quote on it before. Just noticed this when I went to close the lid. Uh, there's also a shovel hanging from a tree over here. There's a sign on it. I haven't looked to see what it said yet. 
The thunder box and shovel placed here by the Friends of Tomogamy. Friends of Tomogamy is an all-volunteer organization whose mission is to conserve wilderness, promote ecotourism across the Tomogamy area. If the hole is almost full, please help everyone by moving the box to a new location. Cover the old hole with soil and large rocks to restrict, restrict foot traffic. Find a new location relatively free of roots and rocks, at least 60 meter, 200 feet away from the shoreline, streams, trails, and tent sites. Dig a new hole as deep as possible, at least one meter, three feet. Place box over the hole and backfill around the edges, making sure the box is stable. Sit back and enjoy, thank you. Your efforts will help future visitors enjoy their experience and protect the water quality and environment of this beautiful area. For more information, visit www.friendsoftomogamy.org. Wasn't that cool? Thank you, Friends of Tomogamy, once again, for your hard work and all you do so that we can come and enjoy this beautiful area. All right, well, it is lunchtime. Uh, it's 1.30, and uh, just sitting on my campsite. I got all the things set up. I set up the bug shelter. I don't know if I'm going to actually need it. I haven't had any bug issues whatsoever, um, but it is really windy right now, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I got my gravity filter today, so that's nice. I don't have to pump water. Got my hammock up in a really nice spot so I can just look out over the lake and uh, tend to sit up right behind there on a really nice flat spot. So, um, everything's good. I'm super happy about the bugs. Um, Canada Day weekend was, was pretty horrendous. Um, it was even bad on the sites, but here, uh, so far I haven't had any issues at all. Um, on the portage I had, I think, one mosquito try to bite my hand and I had one deer fly circling me the one way. That was it. So hopefully the bugs are gone. Um, I know they're never really gone, but um, I don't even know if I'm gonna need the bug shelter. It is supposed to rain on and off tomorrow, and uh, it's supposed to rain on Sunday as well. Oh, shit. It's really, really windy today. <laughs> big sandwich and I'm so glad it didn't get too squished. Some nice Italiano bread with some butter and um, some German salami. So I'm going to have that and just sit here and enjoy the view. Sure is windy out here today. for a swim and hung out in the water for like I don't know an hour it was so nice it's so refreshing um, the water's not freezing cold but it's like cold enough so that like you're refreshed when you get in it uh, the wind is crazy here today um, the water's a little tricky there's all kinds of boulders and stuff that you have to kind of 
um, crawl over like a crab. Uh, they're super slippery, the rocks, so you have to be really, really careful. And um, once I got out there, I found this really nice flat rock uh, that I could sit on. And my legs were in the water, my feet were in the water, the rest of me was out of the water, and I could just sit there and uh, enjoy the breeze and the cold freshness of the water and it was wonderful it's been so hot today so it's been great um, the bugs have been pretty good but it is very windy um, I went to the privy and they were there waiting for me uh, ready to eat me alive so um, they're not as bad as they were two weeks ago thankfully which is awesome um, but they are still out and um, it's just been super super windy here so they're not as noticeable uh, anyways, I'm going to sit here and read a little bit more of my uh, River of Fire book and uh, just chill out. It's about 4.30 on Friday and uh, it's just been such a beautiful day here in Tomogamy. I'm so happy that I'm here. Well, it's almost 6 o'clock and I am starving, so I'm going to make dinner. Uh, first thing I did was make a drink. Um, I brought uh, a pork chop for dinner and I brought it on a block of ice. <laughs> So I just smashed it on the rock, put a whole bunch of ice in my drink. So I actually have a cold beverage, which is, oh, so nice. So I've been drinking warm water all day. So cheers. Mmm, so good. I have coconut rum today and um, Nesfruta, orange, peach, and mango. So good, yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna make some dinner. Um, I was debating whether to do it on the fire. It's so windy, it's so hot. I don't wanna make a fire, so I'm not gonna make a fire. Um, I did check, there is no fire ban on in Tamagami, um, but I just thought, you know what, I don't need to. So, got my bake pan I brought here. Um, got my stove all set up. Got my beautiful pork chop. It is massive. There it is. And uh, I'm just gonna turn on the pan here. Turn on the pan. Turn on the stove, put the pan on there, put a little oil in, heat it up, and we'll get this puppy in here. I've already put seasoning on it. Should probably wait till it heats up a little better, but I really don't care. Slap that sucker in there. Yeah, it's massive. <laughs> Gonna have to eat it all. To go with the pork chop, I brought a salad that I bought at Foodland. Um, it's a Greek salad, had feta in it, and it didn't have enough tomatoes. So I just went, I went and bought some extra um, grape tomatoes, and I put them in there, and plate is returned. Um, since I didn't have so many portages to do, I only had one, I brought my plate and all of my um, fun things. I'll show you when it's done, but nothing nothing really major to do here. I'm gonna drink my drink while it's still cold and uh, sit here and enjoy my beautiful view of uh, Blueberry Lake. Cheers. So I cut up my lettuce and my cucumbers and my tomatoes and I put my salad dressing on there already. Um, I don't like a lot of dressing on my salad so what I'm doing is uh, I'm putting some of it on the pork chop and uh, that'll make it nice and uh, a little bit oily so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Well that doesn't look too shabby. <laughs> and I got ice in my drink. I had to have a second before the ice melted. It's all gone now, sadly. I'm gonna eat. It looks good. Well, it's a really good thing that Tamagami doesn't have a fire ban on right now because I'm out of fuel. <laughs> for the first time ever, backcountry camping for like 17, I think I'm on 18 years now, I ran out of fuel. And this is a brand new little canister um, that I just started using today and I cooked the pork chop and it's gone. 
<laughs> it's not a big deal. I just have to cook everything on the fire. Just got a very quick small fire going to finish cooking. Some of the pork chop wasn't completely cooked and I didn't want to get sick. Um, hopefully I'll be okay because some of it was pink, but I know pork can be pink. And anyway, <laughs> I made a little fire to cook the rest of it and I'm just, uh, it's just a bunch of sticks. Should go out very soon and uh, I guess I better go collect some wood for my breakfast fire tomorrow morning because I got no fuel. <laughs> oh well. well. It's 8 o'clock and uh, looks pretty nice so far. The wind has calmed right down. Bugs are still good. And uh, we'll see what happens. Well, it's about 10 o'clock on Friday night, and um, I was reading, and then I started doing the sleepy eye thing, and so I said, eh, might as well just come to bed. So um, I am going to head to sleep. Great day today, um, easy way in. I'm super happy with the boys across the lake. They are being very quiet. I don't even know they're there. I've only heard like, a canoe move here and there. I think they lifted them up maybe and brought them up on the rocks or something and other than that I haven't heard boo so thanks guys for being respectful. I'm so happy about that. Beautiful sunset tonight. Um, got to go swimming a lot today. Unfortunately I didn't go fishing. I just didn't really feel like it. I didn't want to get back in the canoe once I got here. I was like meh. So, um, and then I had some drinks at dinner, so I didn't want to go out paddling after drinking. So, um, anyways, maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be doing most likely two hikes tomorrow, Blueberry Trail and the Old Growth Trail. I read a whole bunch of stuff about them today. Um, sounds very interesting. One says uh, leave two to three hours to do, I think, the Old Growth Trail. The other one doesn't have a time, but I think it's pretty small. Uh, but it is going up to a lookout, so... I think that one would be good to do really early in the morning get some sunrise pictures um, but the sun does come up at 5 45 so I don't know if I want to go out that early <laughs> um, but we'll see what happens anyways I'm gonna head to bed so good night <laughs>